good day to you all. If what you are seeing in these first couple of seconds of the video is something that's of interest to you, please stick around as I'm gonna try to explain how to do this flying like this with multiple planes simultaneously uh, without any mods like BD Armory or anything else like um, physics range extender and I'm gonna show you also what kind of issues you might bump into trying to accomplish flying like this with multiple planes of course okay let's do this uh, first you want to put up one of your airplanes on the airfield and then move it to either one of the sides you just need to clear the airfield the plane must not be on the on the landing runway path so we're just gonna move it to to well I'm not sure is this east or west side but just move it oh it's north yeah move it well north or south after that we need to send in one more plane for takeoff this one needs to remain on standby with the brakes on and here is the second plane they're completely identical I did not have a lot of time to to do this video it was completely unplanned so I used the plane that was already built in and uh, unfortunately it's a plane from the mod so it's kind of overpowered okay so to do this you should first align the planes to start off and fly in the uh, same direction put their engines up on a similar level turn the brakes on do not forget to turn the brakes on otherwise one of the planes is gonna start rolling before the other and you see this what I did here was quite bad the first plane got the engine throttled to full before the second one even got well throttled at all and now they're moving but the first plane is way ahead of the second one so I urged the second plane to take off and they took off both of them but they're quite some Mm, time apart it's gonna be hard to catch up if you take off like this without any mods it's maybe even worse than docking see the other plane just passed over there and now I would be unable to catch him so try again test number two move the plane again to the position next to the first one and try to aim them to fly well straight north that might be the easiest way for you to take them both off in the correct direction so they both are moving on the same path not moving away from each other and here I am moving them in the correct position turning brakes on checking some stuff and trying to, to um, put their engine thrust on the same level on both of them brakes and SAS are key here because without them the planes would already be moving and you would not be able to do anything uh, once you're sure that they're mm, at the same amount of trust and heading the same way just move from one plane to another turn the brakes off and do the same thing on the first one turn the SAS on he is your friend here without it they would just wobble around and probably crash into the ground see the second plane moving first plane moving as well and as soon as you have the ability to take off do it because the physics range for them while they're on the ground is only 300 meters also do not forget about the second plane like I did here see the, the other one is fine over this one remained there so here we go again this time it has to be perfect again move them up to face the same direction preferably you should do this first then quick save because it might take you a couple of attempts to make them you know move perfectly together I of course forgot to do that because I, I like to forget things I guess Okay, 
now that they're in the same direction turn the engines up so they're at the same throttle amount turn the SAS on on both airplanes or maybe even three airplanes you can fly five of them if you would like I just used two here turn the engines up same amount of thrust it's very important for them to stay quite close to each other because like I said it's quite hard to to get to a moving plane once it's already too fast for your plane it's a game of catch and uh, cat and mouse except you're the cat and you can never catch the mouse something like Tom and Jerry here it is this time it seems to be perfect also try to take off with both of them as soon as possible and here we go now we're flying quite close to each other and this is kind of good unfortunately without the BD armory you cannot give the commands to another airplane without you directly piloting it I tried with the MacJet's pilot but uh, here I'm gonna show you later in the video what happens with that pilot so here I'm gonna try to play some cat and mouse as you can see the other airplane is right in front of me there we're flying almost the same speed but my my jaw was kind of off so right now I need to catch up to that one it's not easy BD Armory makes it a lot 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 easier because you can just order autopilot to follow your airplane around in formation or to fly to some point without you ordering it directly to fly over there still trying to catch up to that plane because like I said it's not easy if you put down the other plane's trust and uh, you speed up yours then you're gonna fly past it then you're gonna do it all over again with that plane to catch up this plane and it's horrible so I'll just give up on it here it's already become too hard and we're at the base again orienting the airplanes in the correct direction again because I forgot to quick save so don't forget very important brakes on SAS on here I'm gonna try to do something with that autopilot I told you about but it was not a good idea we're about to see why <laughs> maybe even laugh Also, I do not have physics extender mod enabled, so it's probably in this part of the video that I'm gonna also show you what are the bad things that might happen to you if one of the planes speeds up too fast compared to the other. I know it's boring, I'm trying to figure out what all of these commands are for my job here and there I have engaged the autopilot and it did absolutely nothing so I was struggling with these commands trying to figure out if there is anything I can do to make Mcjet take off on its own but it just did not want to and of course I forgot that I have turned on the engine thrust to maximum and as you can see the airplane moved too far away and then completely stopped now it's gonna happen with that other plane as well he moved way too far away from this one and physics just gave upon him so he stopped in his tracks same thing happened again they just cannot catch up to each other even I tried so hard see they just kept moving out of the physics and things went out well turns on its engines but 
it just can't speed up enough for, for the other plane to, to move together with it. And of course both planes crashed. But since I also turned on the autopilot on that other plane, it decided to have a mind of its own and it started floating through water with engines on, moving like it was a boat. And a good one too. I mean check it out, it has more maneuverability than most boats today. It's like <laughs> like that fast chat. Anyway, back again we go. This time it's gotta be perfect. Brakes on, engine power and thrust at the same level as the other plane. SAS on as well. And brakes down on this one. Brakes down on this one. This time they should move together quite close to each other. Also always try to take off with your further away back plane first because it gets a lot of speed when it takes off so they kind of catch up to each other. Now we're gonna have to play some cat and mouse again. But this time since we're not that far away from each other it's gonna be a lot easier as you can see now on the screen there coming up there should be a plane in view on that little screen and also he's right there flying without any mods two planes are flying together I mean the game is modded but none of them are turned on BD Armory I do not even have installed so This is maybe boring on the video, but when, when you're trying to do it, it's actually quite fun. And like I said, it's maybe even worse than trying to dock with another vessel. Here I caught up with that other plane, which was in front of me. And right now I want to try and get as close to him as possible. For the best screenshots or stuff, whatever you would like to do, just fly together. but be extra careful. I almost hit up this plane while doing this. Something that cannot happen. I mean it can, but it's much harder to do so when you have BD armory. And here we are, finally where we wanted to be. But I kind of overdid it and moved away from the other plane again, which was not that cool. So I tried to come back closer to it again but not that easy to do he's flying at a constant speed at the trust I have given it and uh, it's quite hard to, to just get to that speed and then remain with it here I tried to make the other plane go a bit faster and slow this plane down but that also has some side effects. The airplane then took up more speed than I did and it was again can't and mouse. Chase him. Chase him to get close enough. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I hope you're gonna have some fun trying to do this on your own. Have fun. Good luck.